But again, the idea is that that humans have been able to survive and thrive because when we are pursuing meaningful goals that are difficult, our brains recognize it and start to release chemicals that increase energy, increase motivation. Um, they are endocannabinoids primarily, although movement will also give you adrenaline and uh, dopamine and sometimes endorphins, depending on what you're doing and how hard it is. Um, but endocannabinoids are these this class of brain chemicals that, you know, if you ask someone what does a runner's high feel like or what does an exercise high feel like, they'll talk about two different sort of streams. One is all the negative stuff in your head and your body that gets quieter, physical pain, fatigue, stress, worry, self-doubt, all of that anger, uh, that becomes quieter. So you start to feel this kind of calm and all the discomfort in your body, that's starting to quiet down. And there's also this other stream of really enhanced positive experiences. So you feel good, you feel powerful, you feel confident and hopeful. Um, anything that's pleasurable is more pleasurable and uh, particularly social interaction. So like a conversation or physical touch, cooperation, play, all of that shared laughter, that becomes really rewarding. And that's the neurochemistry of an exercise high. That's what your brain does to motivate you to keep pursuing uh, something important that requires physical effort and, and psychological persistence. So I think that's pretty cool because you know, what it means is anytime you engage in regular activity, you're becoming this version of yourself that is more hopeful, more motivated, more energized, and also better able to connect with others. And uh, the research suggests that although this chemistry might peak in your workout and for like the hour afterwards, there's this weird upward spiral effect where you basically benefit from that for the rest of the day. With all of your interactions, you're more likely to make progress on important goals. Things that are really stressful are less likely to take a toll on your well-being. This is one of the reasons, by the way, why I exercise first thing in the morning, even though you heard me say how much I hate getting out of bed in the morning. I would have, if I were like training for the Olympics, I definitely would be like trying to time my training for when I have peak energy and focus and it's not six in the morning. But I train then because I want the upward spiral. I want everything I do afterwards to be the version of myself that I am after I'm all hopped up on my endocannabinoids and endorphins.